and welcome to my channel, Sage of Aqua. This is part two of the Dark Moon reading for those of you that are not looking um, at a love reading, uh, which is what's come out so far. So I'm just going to look a little deeper and see if I can find any other any other wavelengths that are, are relevant. Um, so um, we, we got this one out for our spiritual ascension um, and this is about transformation so this could be occurring for everybody um, and this could do um, could be to do with uh, the age of Aquarius um, this could be to do with Pluto and Aquarius um, there just seems to be a lot of Aquarius um, coming into um, into the readings and um, and that really is about um, change and going on your own journey and just believing in yourself um, and in fact the six of wands really does back that up um, and also the bloom card um, was about the self-confidence in fact number 33 metamorphic is an incredibly intense and difficult journey it's looking like a super massive black hole of an emotional shift and you'll want to make sense of this so let's dive deeper Two dragons and two two predators. Um, um you could be dealing with someone that's a bit difficult. Let's just see what this one says. Seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego. So the dragon sees everything. And we've got another eye here as well. The two eyes. So it's about seeing something, something you might see. And the essence has been with us since before our, our first birth and will be the, there till at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous and visionary. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this card is about um, gathering up your courage as well. Um, yeah, and, um, and a new beginning as well. So you might be starting something new for sure. We've got the, uh, that could also be the um, ace, one bird is one of air, ace of wands. That could be an ally or it could be starting up something new. Perhaps you're starting up something with your ally that came out previously, I think on the um, maybe the last two weeks the um, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Challenges has been coming out. So perhaps this ally is encouraging you to start something up. Um, it watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When Dragon is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop in into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we're travelling with a great friend inside of ourselves. We look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Okay, so we've got transformation there. So, um, either you yourself are transforming, or a potential relationship, um, or a business connection is developing. Uh, you could be working your own business and start getting some successful contracts or clients, uh, especially with the keeper, the king of swords here, and that is some somebody, that is an entrepreneurial energy. So for those of you that are not interested in love reading, this could be an entre entrepreneurial uh, opportunity. Um, and it's not necessarily something you've done before, you could be quite new to it, but you could have the beginner's energy, the, the Shoshin. So uh, I've got another uh, reading on Shoshin, beginner's energy, if you would be interested in having a look at that. And I feel that that really if, if, um, connects to this reading um, about a startup. 
Uh, witnessing this omnipotent energy, okay, so omnipotent, um, so um, even for a brief moment. So omnipotent energy, okay, so um, so we're starting to tune into the energy now, omnipotency. Um, so that's very cool. Um, witnessing this omnipotent energy, so seeing yourself beyond the self, even for a brief moment helps us surrender and let go. Because this is, to me, this grace card here. This grace card right here, appreciate the beauty inside and all around you is the crux of this reading. It says don't judge what you see as good or bad, that's why the huntsman's here. We've got two opposing energies here, the king of swords and the huntsman which represents justice. To transition from the king of swords to the huntsman is to be the beauty in the world. I'm feeling like this is a universal metamorphic shift into the fifth dimension as a result of the transmutation of Aquarius, uh, age of Aquarius, and that this energy is far superior and that in our, in our subconscious we're beginning to, we're beginning to realise that that this um, white rose and hope is really like the star of Nazareth. This beacon of hope is leading the collective subconscious out of a dark night of the soul. I see beauty everywhere, so I think it's about um, how we perceive things. Um, so for example, the hyena, um, people see the hyena as a pest, but they're actually um, do a lot of cleaning up, you know, they um, they actually clean up carcasses, so they're actually very useful for the ecosystem, so it's really about how you see things. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world and their agony is dim, agony is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence. Wow, that's pretty profound. Um, Okay, so let's move right along to see what else we're doing with this reading. So I just want to have a look at the Huntsman, number 11, which denotes number 2. So this is Major Arcana. So a, a, a mighty Huntsman stands with a, bow, with a bow and arrow at the ready. His hunting horn at his belt. Close beside him are a doe and a fawn. Closer than deer would normally approach a man, but the huntsman is not a mortal man. He is an embodiment of nature's justice. The huntsman, represented by fairness and justice, has already transitioned to metamorphic omnipotence. He is an embodiment of, of nature's justice. He defends the well-being of the forest and its creatures by protecting the vulnerable. Okay, so, um, so this could be a transition from the ego to this person. Instead of a dwelling in the ego, um, it's transferring to this more mellow chap here. Um, so the huntsman appears when something has upset the natural order of things. Okay, well that's confirmation of my on my gravity door. So that's that's the universal energy there and that's upset the balance. So that actually confirms the gravity door. Um, which um, this natural order has been upset, and this is the this is a nine of wands is a strong position, and sorry there and there and there that's a pentacle. So this is potentially a strong position, but something's come unstuck. So where were we? Um, so what are your motives? Is your word to be trusted? He is assessing you. Not condemning you yet. Okay, so somebody's watching you. Who's all those eyes? Somebody's watching you. Someone's assessing you. Hmm. Okay, oh, I get the feeling that the coyote is about. Look at the coyote eyes. The coyote watches its prey. Someone could could be considering you for something. Oh, my overall feeling that it's a love interest, but if not, it could be a partnership in doing anything. So the law protects the innocent, so this was about justice and balance. There, justice. Because this was about um, confidence going in and through and projecting outwards. 
those who invoke the law must come from a place of righteousness and truth. Encountering the huntsman signifies that the balance of justice is in play and you must carefully obey the laws, laws of nature and humanity. Listen to your conscience as embodied by the huntsman and do the right thing. Um, it looks like you've got choices. This is definitely about, this could be legal, this could be a legal matter. Giving and see, receiving respect, truth and honour, legal, ethical, integrity and fair dealings. Um, yeah, someone may, this is either the person that you're dealing with is a fair and just sort of lawman, or um, someone might be calling on you to be fair and just. I'm just going to get some clarifiers because um, we've got here. Okay, six of moons, another six, and the moon here. This, this has come out before. Uh, yeah, we've got the moon here, energy here as a clarifier. Um, something a little different about the moon here. And we've got bunnies there too. Okay, I'm gonna have to double check this, the double confirmation that we've got here. Um, just gonna check my Bibles. Okay, so um, I've had a look a little bit deeper into it, and I have the card for compassion. I just wanted to clarify the energy because it was a little bit um, confusing. Um, so um, there's either someone in your life. Um, that's beckoning you to be a bit more compassionate or there is a very compassionate person that's coming into your life um, or um, the overall energy is making us all come as a collective and our subconscious is naturally tuning into something um, a bit more um, transformative um, and as is happening at a subconscious level but also opportunity, an opportunity um, could exist for you or sometime in the near um, future. It says live in the moment, let go of the past, there is no point worrying about the future. A wonderful opportunity exists for you today, embrace it. Okay, so um, I actually have three bunny cards here come out and this isn't the first time the moon here has graced my readings. So this one's about hardships um, in the past and these bunnies have come in to nurture. This moon here came out in a previous reading and I think I'll just do a whole reading on this energy because it keeps popping out. Um, triple confirmation um, is, means that this, this energy is very strong, especially with the, um, the keeper of challenges here. Which um, came out in your position one. So um, yeah, we'll just do a whole reading on that because that's that's really going somewhere. Right, right now for you. Get going with those projects you've always wanted to do, or or those you started but haven't finished. These are not necessarily ones that have anything to do with earning money, but those which you have a passion for: writing, painting, sculpting, or some other expressive art. Okay, so that's what might be um, why we had the appreciate the beauty card. So I'm just going to just get another confirmation on this energy. One, three, two. One, three, two. What's that? That makes a number five. No, six. That makes a number six. <laughs> okay, number six it is. Now we've got two. We've got two. Yeah, we've got the six of pentacles and we've got the six of um, wands, I think. Six of We've got double confirmation on the six. It's possible that um, you've been in a really testing time and it's come up and this uh, lucrative opportunity has come up um, because we have the opportunity. So you went off on a tangent and you found something um, um, pretty amazing by the looks. That's what the energy says. Um, so one, two, two. And we'll just have a look at the, the bunnies um, in greater detail because that's come up about three times now. So whatever project you're working on, move quickly and remain flexible. Beware of anyone trying to trick or deceive you. Okay, so that might be that might be why 
how we got the trickster. And there's another card that was about the trickster as well. Um, the coyote, yeah, the coyote, about the trickster. Okay, someone might be trying to trick you or deceive you. You may be fooling yourself, uh, so we've got the wise fool, um, about some eventual relationship and not being paid attention to the obvious signs that it's not going that well. Tower. Something's not going well. Um, pay closer attention so we've got the eyes and reflect upon it. Uh, pay close attention to the cycles of the moon and coordinate your activities um, such that it corresponds with the moon's waxing, which is active and dynamic energy, and waning, which is release and receptive stages. You'll be required to make some unexpected and rapid changes in direction in the coming days. Okay. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory, and I think I'll just close out with um, the same time we call. So this is um, my dreaming, this is an Australian deck uh, from Down Under and this is actually written by an um, Aboriginal woman um, and, um, and I have um, pulled the travel card, it's the sea turtle. The sea turtle is very, very um, graceful, very graceful creature. Just encouraging you to just be a little bit more gracious uh, with your dealings, um, love of business. Um, and, um, any opportunity that comes along, there could be a travel opportunity coming up for you. So that's, that's all pretty exciting. So the sea turtle starts life as an egg buried in the sand on the beach, and when the time comes, it turns into a tiny little hatchling and is drawn to the water by the sound of the sea, using imprinted knowledge that it must get to the ocean and the safety it represents. The ocean will grow very in the ocean it will grow very large and travel far and see the world. Even though it swims far from the ocean's currents and see so much of the world, so you know, it could be an opportunity to see, to see the world, if you haven't already done so. It instinctively returns to the place where it was born to lay its eggs, that's amazing. So that's the magic that we see here, that's just, that's just incredible that it knows, it knows its way home. It's just amazing. Um, its children will do the same. Um, so it's just a, just a cycle of life, you know, this metamorphic cycle of life that just keeps going around. This is a number six as well, so really denotes harmony and success. Um, so the sea turtle is associated with the element of water and water is fluid and it flows and travels, pushing the turtle along with its currents. Water also corresponds to emotions. Um, in the sea turtle's case, it is the emotional attachment that you have to your home and family. Take heart in knowing that not all choices are yours to make. So it's about taking the ego out. Um, the huntsman. Just letting things happen. Um, sometimes energies are at work that are greater than you, and sometimes it is wise to surrender to the problem. So, um, we also have the compassion card. So it's possible that showing a little bit of compassion in your situation may ease the burden that you may be faced with, the uh, burden of decision making. Um, I think it's always best to err on the side of compassion if you can, um, because upon reflection of your decisions, uh, especially if you're in a king of swords energy, that you might have some Missed, you may miss opportunities that would otherwise be available to you if you're in, in a bit of a more broad sense and sort of learn from your trials and tribulations and there's no harm being different there's no harm being different and trying your own stuff um, and just be confident about it this card to me stands out um, as a protagonist um, leader energy is just be confident about who you are and what you want to do in the world because you know, who says that you're not brilliant, you know, there's no measure, there's no rule to say who's amazing and who's not amazing, you're all amazing, so that's all I have for you today, um, I hope you enjoyed the reading, 